Hello, everyone. Welcome to Small Talk. My guest was on the show, I think it was about two years ago, and she's back with something to talk about, uh, something exciting, I think. Time to meet Marianne Sawchuk. Welcome back to the show, Marianne. Hi, Nancy. Thank you so much for having me back. I really, really appreciate it. I'm uh, I'm coming from you um, in the uh, green room of the Red Sand Castle Theatre, okay. where rehearsals are taking place for my Women at Plays 6, uh, my sixth festival of a Women at Plays um, festival that I, that I have of, the, of uh, one acts. Um, written by uh, Canadian female uh, Canadian women playwrights, directed by Canadian uh, women directors, and acted by Canadian women actors. Very good. Now you're in Toronto. I am in Toronto. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Red Sand Castle Theatre is nine two two Queen Street East. Nine two two Queen Street East. For everybody who's in the area, go check it out. Well, it's not just today. So even if you're not don't it's not just today. The area, you can be as far as Newmarket and get there. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Okay, so tell me how this all came about. Well, Women at Plays, I started quite a few years ago in Vancouver. Um, I did three uh, three shows in Vancouver, and it started out just by me recognizing the um, inequality and in inequity that happens with women in uh, the performing uh, arts industry. So I, instead of just sitting at home waiting for my agents to call me on the phone, I thought, well, what can I do? What can I, how can I make a difference? How can I get women's stories to be told on Canadian stages and, and get and uh, have initiatives for uh, women directors um, and women actors to uh, hone their craft, practice their craft, um, or even, you know, try new things with their craft if they were actors wanting to be directors, that kind of thing. Um, most of, most of the, I have a few of those, most, most are, most are vet directors, which is great. And, and then same with actors, like, like when you're sitting at home waiting for the phone to ring and not, not, not a lot of work going on, which uh, right now is very common after this, after COVID and then, then the strike um, that, well, what can we do? We can, we can get, get ourselves on stage and do some original works from, from fabulous women playwrights, Canadian women playwrights, get their words on the stage and, and let, let's, let's do it. So that's what it started as. Very good. Okay. So now the, the one you have going now, Women at Play, um, um, which started yesterday, um, yeah, well, we actually opened tonight. We had our dress rehearsal last night. Okay. And then tonight is our official opening night, which we are sold out. But don't worry, everybody. There's lots more tickets available um, for the next shows. We're running. Uh, we run tonight, for, like March 1st is our opening tonight at 730. But we have shows on the 2nd, uh, tomorrow, Saturday at uh, 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon, and then at 7.30 at night, and same with Sunday, 1.30, 7.30, and then we go back, uh, so that's 1 to th one to 3rd, and then next week, uh, March 7th uh, through to the 10th, we close on uh, at an evening show on the 10th, But so Thursday we have an evening show, Friday we have an evening show, and then again Saturday and Sunday we have the matinees and evening shows, and closing out on the, on the 10th. Okay, so... Okay, um, now explain it to me again. So is it more than one play? Are there a number of plays? There are, thank you, thank you, Nancy. There are six plays, um, six, and they will be performed every single show. They're, they're one act, so they range from, uh, we have one show that's about 10 minutes long, and then we range all the way up to, I think one of our shows is clocking about 22 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the a shows are one person show, right? One act show. Um, they're, 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 no, they're, we actually, la, um, last year we did, we had quite a few one, one, one person like perform it, performing, um, sh uh, we had three of them last year, but this year we have none, which is interesting. It's just, I have a jury that helps me select all the plays. So whatever bubbles to the, the top is the best that, that, that's between, um, between the jury members, uh, that's what gets put on stage. So it's it's kind of a uh, so we have we range from comedies we have a physical theater piece this year which is which is different I've never had that before it's it's so fabulous all the plays are fabulous and we do have one very very dramatic very dramatic intense play so it's a whole range of range of plays it's a lot of fun so are you performing or directing in any of them 
I'm uh, this year I'm performing. I'm um, performing. Last year I did do I wrote uh, I wrote um, a play and performed that play that I wrote myself. But this year I have the privilege of, of being uh, cast by um, Lee Bolton, who's a directing um, a playwright named uh, Marnie Walsh. So you remember that, remember those names because they're fantastic uh, theater artists. Um, anyways, it's called The Trial of Rosie McDougall and Marnie R Walsh wrote that play. That's the very intense dramatic play that I happen to be in. And um, um, it's, but it's, it's an important play. It's an important story that needs to be told. And it's actually based on Marnie's own experience when she was 10 years old living in rural Ontario that her neighbor's... Um, uh, husband went and actually killed his wife with an axe. Thanks. And this is, it's an intense play. I i fully believe that, you know, a lot of people want to shy away from, from intense stories or, or, but, but yeah. unfortunately today, um, femicide and uh, intimate partner violence, especially against women uh, is on the uprise uh, worldwide and, but also in Canada. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're not, you know, people think we're, we're better here, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could do we can do better, which is which is part of, you know, which is part of why I wanted why I want what inspires me to do women at place. I'm not it's not a it's not a thing to um, it's not kind of like um, I welcome everybody. You know, men are welcome. To, men are welcome to come because we want to have a dialogue. We want to have it's just not um, like us against them. We want to be together. We want to be together. We want to start a dialogue. We want to solve the problems. What, let's understand what where's the problems coming from, and and let and we we need men to talk about it with us. So so I I, I highly encourage men to come out. We can talk about you know these are these are a lot of these these stories are do like we need to talk about them and we need to to shed a light on what what's going on instead of trying to you know run and hide and maybe just make one comment on social media and think you've done something no we need to we need to we need to come together and talk about it and i think then we can solve some problems yeah, yeah for it reminds me you know i used to be part of uh, the vagina monologues and, and it's that same thing you know it's not women bashing men there were some really yes. stories about men in the, in the yes men didn't know that most men didn't know that and some women, the word itself turned them off. And it's like, what do you think? Yes. We're not showing vaginas. Hello. <laughs> Yes, I love that you did the vagina monologues. I loved that show. I saw I went that was in, in Vancouver when a lot of those were going on. I saw it in Vancouver. It was amazing. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed being part of it. Um so you know you've been acting for many years now, right? Yes. So yes, just, yes, I have. Yeah, and but, but, you know what's interesting is like because on on uh, Facebook it said that like originally, or not maybe not originally, but at one time you were part of the health and safe safety at Netflix. Yes. Oh my gosh. That thank you for asking about that. But that was like that was such a dream job for me. Um, because I'm I'm also like uh, I'm an I'm a nurse. I'm an emergency room nurse. And during COVID, I was uh, worked worked in emergency, worked in a very acute area, and I was also part of the uh, task force when we had the shortage of PPE and came together came together with uh, uh, under the um, Scarborough Network um, Hospital Network and the three ERs of us. We get together and say, okay, how are we going to prevent outbreaks? How are we going to protect ourselves from COVID? This is when it first came out. So I got some like got some training with that. And then all of a sudden, one day in my email, um, Netflix was saying they were looking for a health and safety supervisor. And I really thought it was in my junk mail. And I thought, oh, this is not real. <laughs> and sure enough, it was real. And I did. I worked 10 months on a show called 13 The Musical during COVID. Wow. Uh, very uh, stressful situation. It was kids. They had wow. two of them had um, were immunocompromised and probably they would have not done well. Let's just put it gently uh if they got covid so it was my job to make sure they didn't and i'm very happy to say they did not i did not have an outbreak on my set i did not have any delays uh delays in production from testing mm -hmm. which is kudos to my testing coordinator um well that they had a team but uh direct you know and my my whole team i had 27 people and um um yeah, no, it was that was really it was great. And it would just meld my two worlds because I've also because I'm, I'm, you know, I act, but I also produce I've produced short films. So I have that kind of knowledge and background with with that as well. So to meld my two worlds of, of my nursing, my, you yeah. know, and then my, my film and television 
that was a that was a dream job it was amazing wow it's so exciting you know as you're talking about it I'm all excited about it <laughs> for you, it was, you know? I think it was it, yeah it was a very stressful time but I had a great team and and um and it's funny I was just talking to one of one of the other nurses that I that uh, was my right hand man the other day and and we were just saying you know it felt like so long well we were there 24 7 like we were right. so, yeah. you know we were there and I had my phone by my bedside like all that kind of stuff and but it was it was such an intense time. I feel like those, those people of my team, we knew, like I knew, know them for like years, but then I'm like, I was like, we worked together like 10 months. Like that's wow. so crazy. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just a different time. Yeah. Now getting, getting back to women at plays for first, just a second. You know, one thing you mentioned was a physical performance. Like what do you, what is that? Yes, that's um, Mary and Her Jar of Jam. That's the title of the play written by uh, Catherine Bruce. And it's been directed by Clara McBride. And she happens to specialize. That's the thing about like, I, you know, when I pull everything together, so things just work out every single time. And mm -hmm. I happen to have a director this year. She's, she's new to Women at Plays who specializes in physical theater. And then I had a play which have never been submitted. A physical theater play has never been submitted to me before. <laughs> And I was like, oh my goodness, it is, it's our, uh, sh our uh, um, end of show just blast. Like they're, 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 they're the last, last one on the roster and they are, there's five of them. Mm -hmm. And it's just this, they, they, uh, it's this whole physical theater with between the five of them and uh, with Mary and her jar of jam. <laughs> it sounds fascinating, it really does. It is, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful piece and it's just, and it's funny and it's, and it's just it's unique and I, it's just I mean I love all the plays but you know that that one is uh it was different for me because I've never I've never produced something like that before so right. yeah so I imagine so for the next two weeks like while all of these these plays are being performed you're going to be very busy right yes very busy and it's it's funny my producing I'm still my producing hat will be not as as large I'm going to put my my <laughs> acting hat on and um and yeah and so but it's it's still um it's going to be really busy it's gonna be a lot of fun there's this is like one of the biggest festivals i've had i think there's 32 of us um in this in that as involved with this festival we have 17 actors so then you know six directors six playwrights right. we've got a fabulous amy rubin is our lighting designer she's she's worked magic with the lights at the red sandcastle um then, and then um um, yeah, it's just, it's just the, my stage manager, Jenna Bar Barsato. She is like, just, she's new to, new to women at plays as well. Mm -hmm. So when I convinced her we, she should do this, she was just like, um, six plays, six directors, six playwrights, like, you know, for a stage and then 17 performers. She is rocking it. It's, it's, uh, it's it, it, the team I've got together this year. I always, I always, man, it always works. I always, I always, I'm very blessed that I get some great people that come to, come to do this. Very good. And I'm just going to encourage my friends who live close by, like, uh, I'm trying to think of where one of my friends lives. I think she's right in Toronto. Uh, check it out. <laughs> you know, you're yes. Thank you, Nancy. For sure. You yeah. Know? I, and I also I kept the ticket prices low. I'm very I'm very aware of the inflation nice. <laughs> that's our economy right now. And so there was a debate of especially having more people involved in that kind of thing. Our expenses are higher. But I was like, I want people in the seats. I want bums in the seats. I want people to come out and see these plays and have a dialogue about about women, women issues and, or even if you just want to enjoy great theater because that's at the basis of it all we won't have anything to talk about if we don't have great theater and these playwrights have just given us such beautiful words to perform on stage and and so that's you know so I, so it's for regular seats it's only $25 if you are a senior student or art worker, it's $20. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that that's probably not, not the going price. It's quite below that. But I, like I said, I just, I just want people to come and enjoy themselves and see the show. And, and, and so, yeah. You know, just thinking about when you were talking about it, like all these people, how did you find the location? How does that come about? I have, um, when I first moved to Toronto, I had, uh, I did a play, I uh, did a, I produced an all female version of Glen Gary, Glen Ross by David Mamet. He gave us permission to do it. We did not change one word and it was, it was awesome. We had such, we had rave reviews, we sold out show. And one of the women that we were, were cast in it, this is actually Red Sandcastle Theater is her baby. It's, oh. it's a theater that she, uh, uh, grew in, into into a local uh, venue that that is very very popular, nice. um, and so that's how I found that's how I came to find it. Now she's actually heads uh, 
uh, Theater Kingston now. So she's so she's handed it over to um, Eric Wolf and Adriana Presser, who 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 run who are the managers of the of the uh, Red Sand Castle because the Red Sand Castle can't go away, especially for shows shows like this that we we need a we need a spot that we that we can do perform our because all the bigger houses are it's just it's you know with the price point it's it's oh, in inflation it's yeah. it's and i'm self-funded so yeah. it's yeah. it's um i have to look at look at things like that yeah, right for sure yeah for sure well good okay just want to remind everybody this is marion sarchuk she's on facebook you want to uh get any information well i'll get i'll get the address and all that i'll write that down when i when i put it up on youtube and then when i start sharing it um thank you you're welcome and i just i just want to say to everybody i encourage you to go because watching things on tv compared to being in a live theater there's such a difference i don't know how to explain that you know there's just um you pick up all of the energy from the actors and it's just and the actors in turn in return pick up that energy from the audience so it makes a really really good a good entertaining evening or right? thank you yeah Yes, and that that is that's a very good point. That's also that's also you know it is one of the reasons why I do it because I think theater is very very important. If that's people are you know with with after COVID isolation, people got used to staying home watching Netflix, which is which is great. They have some good shows on there, but but we we also need to come together. And I think that's when I talk about coming together there to discuss things and solve problems and 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 talk about your feelings and all of that. You can't you know you can't do that on 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 your phone you know what i mean like and just comment on on, on a post on on social media right. where it starts and people might think well i'm just one person well no one one person can do so much to 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 help help with 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 it just kind of it, it it's like a the butterfly effect yes. you know and it just it can snowball into into a bigger thing like when I started this festival, I started it at the um, carousel rehearsal space in Granville Island. It like just we put out folding chairs. Seriously, I think we had two lights, two lights. <laughs> I got all my friends together. We you know got the copyrights of the plays that we did. We went on stage and we did it. And then it's just kind of you know developed into this thing. Now I've got 30, 32 people. Right, I've got you know like. And and uh, and I'm, I'm proud to say that many of the actors and directors and playwrights that I've worked with have gone on to do bigger and better things, and that's fantastic. And I love that. I had a director in 2020. Uh, we we did a show right before COVID, March 2020, and she that was the first time that she had directed a, a, a play. And she's literally that's what she does. She's so busy. She was trying to come back this year, and she's so busy she she can't she couldn't do it. And it's like. That's that's like you know boohoo for me, but you know what I mean. But it was like I love hearing that. Same with some actors that have gone on. I mean, just they've honed their craft other ways, but they've been you know not working much. They come do the show, and yeah. and I'm not saying all of them, but you know what I mean. But I just love yeah. to see them all. I love to see them grow, and 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 that that does happen. I have I've have um uh, playwrights like they've submitted pieces. I've got two or three of them that are have submitted the first act of their plays so they're these plays they're like you, you're watching a first act of, of on some of these uh, some of these these one act short plays is like their first act of a of a, a, a full-length play that they're working on you know i mean and that's that's just really exciting for me you know yeah <laughs> yeah it's an it's a safe and it's a safe space to do it where it's we're like the people that I gather together just I just seem to be so lucky that they are so warm and so helpful and we come together as a group and just get things done I mean it's just it's 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 just and it's fabulous to watch and the energy oh my gosh we just have so much fun it's, it's fantastic and that and that goes across to other people when you're having a good time on stage the audience yeah. feels it right when you love yeah. it. Yeah, I mean they they're not gonna they do work very hard to get up to that spot. I'm I'm just saying like right now we we do we have rehearsals going on as I'm speaking because they're working hard trying to be their best. It's 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 it's, it's it is a high level you know standards in in the show. Mm -hmm. Um, so we do work hard out, but I always say that we 
it's with blood, sweat and happiness that we're doing this show. And like, you know, we, we, like we, we are, it's a safe space. We're, in, we're inclusive to, to everyone, except for, sorry for men. We're, <laughs> that's, a, that's the one thing, but that's okay. They can come and watch and that's okay. They, they have, they have their own venues that they, that they, they can go to. So, but they're, and they're more than welcome to come and watch. <laughs> Very good. Well, we'll end it there. Just stay on camera, Marianne. So, um, okay. so uh, everybody, yes, you've been listening to Marianne Sarchuk. I'm going to get all the information. I'll have it written down so you can actually read it. Uh, and, uh, I just encourage you, get out there, have some fun. If you can't go tomorrow, again, it's on Sunday. And then next weekend, the same thing scheduled. So uh, you just might find that you really had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the show. And uh, peace out. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs>